right, folks, check this out. This is a, from Orbit, the digital faucet timer. Okay, you could uh, program your sprinkler system. You want to hook up a temporary garden hose to the, the sprinkler that, you know, goes back and forth or whatever. It says right here. Time watering up to 30, 360 minutes, water every hour up to seven days. You can manually do it too. Rain delay from one to seven days. It's pretty good. The one outlet one, it's about $34. And there's a dual outlet one with two outlets, uh, it's about $45. It's a $10 difference. All right. What I used it here for is they're going to disappear for over the weekend. You don't have anybody to water your garden. What I did here was I set it up to my garden hose around here, and I used a uh, a Soka Pro, which is another little thin garden hose that has water coming out of it, and it's going to come on timed, and it's going to water my little garden over here. And I grabbed my other two plants over there too, hooked them up there too, so I don't kill them, because you know darn well everybody spends all this money on garden and flowers and stuff and all it needs is just a couple of days in the dry weather and it's dead we wasted all that money but check this out I got another 20 minutes left before it turns on I'm gonna hang out here until it turns on so basically I'm gonna show you how to program it it's two AA batteries in the back change the two AA batteries in the back you turn right here where it says to set the clock okay once you go to set the clock, you use the plus and the minuses to set your clock. Don't, don't forget you got the AM and PM there too. Then you turn the dial again. What time you want to start it? I'm going to start it at five o'clock. Okay, plus and minus to do that. Turn the dial again for how long you want it running for. I run it for about an hour. For now, I might change it because it depends on how much water is going to come out. Then it tells you how often you want to do it. Every day, every other day. Okay, you figure that out. And then, of course, this is when it's off. You want to shut it off altogether. So I'm going to put it on automatic right now. Time now is 441. I got it going off in 19 minutes at 5 o'clock. All right. So I'm going to try it out when we come back. All right. All right, we're down to our final minute. Final couple of seconds left before it automatically turns on let's hang out here probably about another 30 seconds left the water is on it's cranked not all the way it don't have to be all the way like I said no matter how much you turn that water faucet it's the same amount of water coming out okay it says one minute you should hear it click let's try it out I haven't tried it on the timer yet. There it is. That came out. That is good. Let's go check it out. I've changed the uh, gasket on that one. Comes out through here. Water is coming out of the soaker hose that I used. Like I said, it's just basically for the days when you no know, one's home. You don't want to kill all this money that you just spent on the garden. Okay, I wrapped it up around. I, I pretty much went around the perimeter of the garden. Then came back around. And I got these little plants in the back too that I want to get some water in. Okay, look at that. Okay, I think that's pretty good. For the amount of water that's coming out, I don't think I need 60 minutes really. I'm going to have to trim it down a little bit. Because in, in an hour, this thing will be soaked. All right, that's it. What do you think? Nice, I like that little timer thing. Eliminates a lot of uh, guesswork and getting people to come here that don't want to come here and do you some favors. All right, and this is the uh, the Soka Pro that I used. All right, thanks for watching. Very bad lows.